Hey friends, how are you? So today I'm going to read the book, The Camping Trip, but this time I would love it if you could read along with me. What do you think? I'm excited. All right, kiddies, so let's get started. The title of this book is The Camping Trip. Can we say that together? The Camping Trip one more time. The Camping Trip. Awesome job. This book is by Louis Patron, illustrated by Joanne Fryer and Lisa Adams. The Camping Trip. Packing for the Trip. What are some items that you notice the family is packing for their camping trip? Do you know what I just noticed that I didn't realize the first time I read this book? I see that. So do you remember what the boy's name is? His name is Andy, and we know that because his name is on his hat. But last time, I didn't notice that his sister has her name on her hat. Her name is Emma. I think it's really cool that I noticed something new the second time that I read the book. And that is why it is so important to read books again. Setting up camp. What are some images that you notice on this page? I see over here a little chipmunk. I see that Andy and Emma are having lunch. It looks like they're eating an apple and a sandwich and maybe some chips. I just want to say, friends, I love that we get to read Andy's journal. Have you ever written in a journal before? What types of things do you write about? Or draw pictures? Sometimes I like to journal about how my day went. I really enjoy writing at the end of the day because then I get to remember all the fun things that I did that day. A hike to the creek. And here are the animals that Andy would like to see and also a waterfall. Have you ever been on a hike before? Very cool. Let's move on. Fun in the water. It looks like Andy and his family, like they're having such a fun time in the water. And over here is Andy's canoe checklist. Have you ever been in a canoe before? I have not been in a canoe before, but I would certainly love to try. Fishing for dinner. Have you ever been fishing before? Did you like it? I don't really get to go fishing a whole lot, but I have been once and I loved it.
Dinner time. Do you know what I just noticed reading the book a second time that I didn't notice the first time? I noticed that all of Andy's family members had a different job putting to, to put together dinner. Andy and his grandpa caught the fish. Then Andy's dad put together the fire with Andy and his sister, Emma. I wonder who cooked the fish. Do you like fish? I love fish. Sitting around the campfire. Have you ever sat around a campfire before? I have a few times. I love the smell of campfire. And do you know what else I noticed reading this book a second time? It looks like this little chipmunk has been on every page. Under the stars. I wonder what Andy's journal entry is going to say about looking at the stars. What do you think he's writing or drawing about? Hmm, I wonder if we will ever get to find out. And that is all we have for today, kiddos. You did a great job. High five. Now, I have a question before we finish up. What are some important things to know before you go camping? What were Andy's journal entries about? Let's go back and take a look. So it's important to know how to make the best s'mores. Let's take a look at what the steps are. First, you have to put a marshmallow on the stick and then you have to put it over the fire. The third step is that you have to blow the marshmallow because it's probably too hot to touch. And then the fourth step is that you put in between two crackers and a piece of chocolate. And then the fifth step looks like you get to eat it. My favorite step. So we have how to make the best s'mores. That's important to know. Then we have building a campfire. That's important to know because without a campfire, how would we cook? And how would we be able to stay warm? It's important to know about the different types of fishing baits and also how to go fishing. It's important to know what to bring with you when you go on a canoe. It's important to remember the canoe checklist. To go on a hike, it's important to maybe make a checklist for yourself of what you want to see. It's important to know how to set up a tent. Otherwise, where would you sleep? And it's also important to have a map to the campsite. This way can help us not get lost. All right, kiddos, I thought that this book was super fun. What did you think? I'm so happy that we got to read it together. I hope that you have a lovely rest of your day, and I will see you next time. Bye!